Growing up in Grenada with my grandmother has made me love this dish right here. So today I'm going to show you guys how I make my cuckoo and stew fish with spinach and corn on the side. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. All right, so let me get right into it. So I have some fish here and I have the fish in some lime water, which is going to cut the freshness and clean the fish up nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub it all over the fish, make sure my fish nice and clean and, you know, get it as less fresh as possible. All right. I'm just showing you guys this season because this is one of my favorite pre-made seasoning brands. I love the seasoning by Sheaf, but I do have my homemade seasoning in a bottle. I buy so much of that seasoning, I just save up the bottle sometimes. And when I make my own, I pour it out in the bottle. Please don't sue me, Chief. <laughs> but yeah, and here I have some all-purpose seasoning, which is basically paprika. One tablespoon each, paprika, garlic powder, salt black pepper onion powder garlic powder and i um i put a couple of tablespoons of that over the fish and i'm just massaging everything together get the fish nice and seasoned up if i sound a little stuffy in this video i am getting over a cold not covid the common cold okay so yeah get your fish nice and seasoned and then let it it aside for a little while let it soak up that seasoning while we get on to other business right again i'm showing you guys this because this is one thing that i use a lot of the times but this is my own seasoning and i will list the ingredients in the description bar but if you guys want me to do a video on how i make my seasoning let me know all right so after a few hours later um Let's go ahead and start getting the cooking process going. So I'm first going to show you guys how I make my cuckoo. And I am going to put uh, two tablespoons of butter in my pot. Let the butter melt. All right, so now you want to add some pimento peppers and I have about five pimento peppers that I cut up that I minced up here. I'm going to add that to my pot. I also minced up one medium onion. So you want to go ahead and add that to your pot as well. Um, the clip where I was pouring into the pot disappeared. So yeah, you want to go ahead and add the onion and saute that for a few seconds before we add our coconut milk. And... Uh, I am going to go ahead and add one can of coconut milk. This is equivalent to one can. I'll end up adding two cans. Actually, each can is 13.5 fluid ounces. So that's as much of the liquid that I use. I'm going to go ahead and add another can. I use any kind of coconut milk, really. Um, you can make your own coconut milk. They usually sell coconut milk in a box. So whichever one you have, use it. But you need that coconut milk. It's essential for your cuckoo. Then you want to go ahead and add a little bit of salt. I added one teaspoon of salt. You want to make sure you be careful with your salt content. You cannot take out salt, but you could always add, right? So add one teaspoon of salt in there. And always taste as you go along and adjust if it's not enough for you because that's going to be the salt content of your cuckoo. So make sure you taste your milk first before you go adding anything else, right? So here I'm tasting and I did end up needing a little bit more salt. So I ended up adding like a teaspoon and a half of salt and that was perfect for me. By the way, heat should be on medium and we're going to let the coconut milk gradually come up to a boil. You want it to heat up because we need that heat to cook our cornmeal, right? So as you can see, it's coming up to a boil. It's getting nice and hot just as how we want it. All 
all right so now it's time to make the cuckoo so have your whisk in one hand your cornmeal in the next and you are going to pour in gradually while you are whisking vigorously so you pour in the cornmeal gradually and at this point make sure your heat is very low because you do not want this to burn the cornmeal immediately absorbs the liquid so you gotta move your hands fast as you can see get everything nice and mixed in And it is going to stick up in the whisk like that that's that's just how you want it you know your cornmeal nice and thick so your cornmeal is going to come out nice and firm so i'm just going to take a wooden spoon and remove that and my my heat is still on at this point but very 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 low because i still want the little heat in the pan very 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 low so <laughs> um i'm going to take the wooden spoon and the wooden spoon is going to help bring everything together so at this point make sure you have a wooden spoon or a sturdy metal spoon that's going to get everything whisking but i really advise that you get a wooden spoon so i did went ahead and add about a quarter cup of hot water just to help bring everything together a little bit more just a quarter cup of hot water and this is the consistency you want your cuckoo to be you want it to clump up together like this when you scoop it up in a spoon you want to make sure it's clumped up like this All right, so now I have my dish here and I'm going to go ahead and transfer my cuckoo mixture in there. Um, if you do not have a non-stick pan, make sure you spray it or lightly oil it before you put it in there. But this dish is pretty non-stick, so the cuckoo will nicely firm up. Any Pyrex dish would work perfectly fine. Pyrex or ceramic dish would work perfectly fine for this. So I'm just taking my wooden spoon and I'm patting it around just to flatten it out and make the cuckoo nice and uniformed. Now, I know Jamaicans are for also familiar with cuckoo, but they call it turn cornmeal and they do it differently than how we do it growing up home. This is how my mother do it. She either pour it out in a pan or a dish like this or she get a plate and she pour it out in the plate. And she smoothed it out nice with her spoon. And we cut our cuckoo like cake. That's how we, we cut our cuckoo like cake. So let me know if you are familiar with this. How you call it where you're from. I know Jamaicans call this turn cornmeal. And they, they serve it a little different. But it's a pretty much the same thing. But let me know where you're from. If you've ever had this before. If you like it. If you're going to try it. All that jazz. And this spoon is going to get it even more smooth at the top. And that's how I like to see it. You could wet your spoon in a little bit of hot water. And it's going to help smooth out the top of your cuckoo perfectly. See how nice she looks. So just going to set this aside and let it cool down and finish firming up. And now I'm going to get started on, on my spinach and corn. You could do kalaloo too, but I love this as a side with my cuckoo. And I trust me, you guys, this stuff is so good. The corn and the spinach together, trust when I tell you, it's bomb. So I'm starting off with some butter here as well.
do that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic. Into the pot, you want to go ahead and add some onions. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour some coconut milk in there. So we're using lots of coconut milk today, but this is really going to give the corn and the spinach such amazing flavor, you guys. And I'm just going to saute that a little bit. I don't know why I chose to pour a little bit of coconut milk in there. Um... As well and then just as do everything at the end. But I'm using yeah. frozen spinach. I am I going to add my corn in there. Frozen spinach here, you get way more for your money.
Yeah, it can go outside like that, honey. Huh? It can go outside like that. It's cold outside. Fish. Me and Kenny don't have fish. 